Hello Monster High fans, it's Heartless Spartan with another Monster High Toy Talk. Today I'll be reviewing the Entertainment Earth exclusive Monster High Fancy Laguna Blue Doll. Diving right in, when ordering from Entertainment Earth, Laguna came packaged in both a regular shipping box and an official Mattel product box. So she arrived at my front door in the best possible condition. Opening that up, we also get her packaging nicely wrapped in some tissue paper to prevent any scuffs or scratches in transit. Looking at her doll box, I feel this is almost one of those that I feel bad taking it out of the box simply because of how nice it looks. We get these nice shiny details on the front of fish bones and Monster High skull logo shaped jellyfish. I find it interesting how they continue to work that logo into different themes. We also get them in cartoon versions on the side panel too. On the back there's some really good product shots of Laguna, though I did catch a discrepancy in the photo where she's swimming. She's wearing shades without lenses when we get blue shades in the set that cover her eyes. I don't know if the prototype they photographed had shades without lenses or they edited that so we could see her face on the back of the box. Otherwise, I just went, aha, and moved on with my life because it doesn't bother me at all. The only time I would be bothered by it is if a character is supposed to have clear lenses for their glasses like Claudine, but Mattel's been consistent in keeping those open so far, so no issues. After taking her out of the box, I'm left with a really nice background. But it has so many holes and some damage from removing the doll that it's not quite worth trying to keep this for anything. I'll move on to the doll and accessories now. So here we have our fancy Laguna all dressed up in a lovely reef-themed outfit. We get this initial look at her, but I'll talk about the accessories so I can handle the doll and camera better. I had mentioned earlier that there was something different about her shades. On the back of the box, we can see through the lenses so that we can see Laguna's eyes, but her actual starfish shades are solid blue plastic. Personally, I tend not to like when they come with shades. It feels like a social barrier. I want to see her eyes. They're pretty. Don't cover up the eyes with shades or sunglasses. The only time I like when dolls have glasses are when they're open or transparent, like Claudine's glasses. Moving on, Laguna also came with this large jellyfish handbag with these cool translucent tentacles hanging below it that have some give to them. Just be careful about how you store it or bend them, or they'll be bent funny or break off at the connection. Things can be put inside, but I would only recommend that things long enough to stick out of the top would be best. Because if anything small is put inside, it may get wedged between the connecting parts on the inside and could be really frustrating to get back out. Something to note is that this doll is the first Generation 3 doll that I've unboxed that came with a stand. There might have been some special editions before this one, but I haven't opened those yet. So this is the first one for me. It's a traditional three-part stand that comes in separate parts stored in the bottom of the product packaging. You might actually hear it rattle around in there before you open the box. Nothing is broken, the parts are just stored loose for whatever reason. It's a traditional three-part stand with a modern Monster High MH logo on the base. The stand rod just snaps into the base and the clip slides right over that. Then you can easily clip the dial right onto the stand about her waist and adjust the clip as needed. Sometimes, with some dowels, it's easier to put the clip on the dowel first and then slide it onto the base.
Now taking a look at Laguna, she's wearing a long, shimmering dress with a deep navy blue color that is patterned by these colorful jellyfish. I like it because it's a soft, flexible fabric that gives off a good shine with a detailed jellyfish print. And that the jellyfish actually look like regular jellyfish instead of the monster high skull jellyfish we saw on the box because I feel that would be too much of a gimmick and reduce the quality of her look. The bottom part of her dress fans out with an opening in the front that lets this light blue tulle fabric skirt hang out that's cut to look reminiscent of tentacles, as well as a view of her coral boots which we'll look more closely at in a bit. If we look at the upper part of the dress, it is a one-piece dress with shoulder straps. But it does have the small opening around her waist that shows off a bit of belly. Looking closely at her belt and necklace, they're made up of nautical rope, seaweed, and stringed pearls, with a few critters attached. Her necklace appears to have a fish hook as a pendant. I don't think dead fish and ocean trash make good jewelry, but it fits her theme and Laguna pulled it off to make her outfit still look cute. Little extra blue toll to make up her sleeves. I don't know if there's any significance behind the bracelet. It doesn't look too special, but it works with the outfit. Over on her left hand though, I don't know what kind of jewelry this is supposed to be called, but it looks like a set of clam shaped knuckle dusters to me. Maybe she has that to leave a clam-shaped indent on the face of anyone that insults her necklace. So Laguna also has some nice makeup. I believe she always has these colored dots, which I think are supposed to be colored scales. She has the shiny lipstick, and the multiple colors around her eyes actually help me to notice that her eyes are purple. She also has a bit of glitter around her eyes, too. As I said before, why cover her eyes with the sunglasses? Her eyes are pretty! Give me an accessory other than sunglasses, please. I also noticed that her eyebrows aren't just one solid painted line. They're actually printed on there with some hair details, so they look more like eyebrows. Speaking of her hair, it kind of hides the seahorse earrings she wears on either side. Those earrings are so long, they touch her shoulders. Now of course she has this really long braid that I find quite cute coming down one side. On top she has this black pearl headband, nothing too special, but it fills the space nicely. Like there needs to be something there, and it fits nicely. I recommend keeping the little plastic tabs in to keep it on her head though. She has some long blonde Rapunzel hair going on here, but it's not all blonde. Why they chose to do it this way I don't quite get, but there's blue underneath, and then a bit of purple in between the blue and the blonde. It's hidden and doesn't really get seen, which is a shame because those are some really nice colors. Two of my three favorite colors actually, blue and violet. Her hair is very nice, but I feel like the colors are in the wrong place, unless I'm missing something here. They stick out a bit, but might be hard to notice. Oh well. Oh yeah, I did like that they made Laguna this soft pink color. It's really cute. And they made sure that her fins would stay on too. I heard that was a big deal for the Monster High alumni out there. She has some on her forearms and her legs. I also like the translucent gradient they gave her on her lower legs. That's a pretty cool detail. I know that it's on every one of her dolls now, but I haven't reviewed a Laguna yet. 
But now we can talk about her boots. They are molded to look like coral wrapping around her legs. A little bit of seashell detailing on the platform. But what I like is that her heels themselves are little black seahorses that match her earrings. That's nice. I don't have too much to say about her heels. They fit the sea theme and look good with the dress. I'm also trying to be nice so she doesn't slug me with that seashell. Altogether, it's a beautiful doll. My favorites are the dress and her eye makeup. The jellyfish handbag is pretty neat too. I found her hair color is nice but somewhat hidden, and her choice of jewelry was questionable but she made it work with the outfit. That dress though is beautiful. I like it. The set even came with a stand, which is a big deal for me because doll stands can get pricey. So it's a real win to get one included with the doll. This was a pretty good exclusive doll. I liked it. Made it well worth ordering from Entertainment Earth. Other stores I've seen have had some pretty goofy exclusives, but this one is pretty. Especially if you collect in box as well. The doll looks amazing in box. enjoyed this Monster High Toy Talk. Remember that you can support the channel by liking the video and subscribing for more. I also have my Heartless Spartan Facebook page where I post updates, tidbits, and links to pre-orders and restocks when I find them. So be sure to follow over there to check that out. This has been Heartless Spartan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.